apologies topped the agenda in Parliament this morning, marking a brief diversion from the budget debate. Long Island MP Loretta Butler-Turner and Fort Charlotte MP Andre Rollins delivered prepared apologies this morning, expressing their regret over an incident which drew public shock and the House Speaker's rebuke. Well, today, the MPs apologized to all they offended except each other. In this report, Carla Palmer tells us who was included in that apology or those apologies after Butler-Turner slapped Rollins for what she says were nasty comments that he has denied making. What a difference a day makes. And in hindsight, had the Member of Parliament for Long Island, Mrs. Loretta Butler-Turner, had the opportunity to erase what was done, she says she would. However, today she did the only thing she thought she could do in offering an apology. One of the things I am reminded of is what I've always been taught, Christian values and principles. And essentially, I, I am also reminded that you know, many times people do not know when God and sinners reconcile. I am human, I am fallible, and obviously I was in a position yesterday that was not a good position, but obviously it is not the position I would like to present to the public, especially to our young people, and especially to those people who look up to us, and me in particular, in this place. And so, Mr. Speaker, I offer my sincere apologies to the young people of the Bahamas, the women of the Bahamas, the men of the Bahamas, and in this day and age where news travels around the globe very rapidly to the world at large. The apology comes just hours after Butler Turner reportedly slapped the member of parliament for Fort Charlotte, Dr. Andre Rollins. Following an exchange of words and after allegedly asking him to remove his arms from around her. Still today, Dr. Rollins maintains his words were not unparliamentary and apologized nevertheless. I am compelled to apologize to the constituents of Fort Charlotte for any perceived wrong on my part. It is never my intention to cause the people of Fort Charlotte any embarrassment uh, as a result of my representation of them. I am very sensitive, Mr. Speaker, to the importance of women in our society and the important example that I should be setting in my interactions with all Bahamians but as a male and in a society that has difficulty with male-female relationships and in my interactions with women. I feel that it is most regrettable that it happened in the way that it did and I will do nothing further to cause for it to distract from the very important business that is being conducted now as we debate the budget for 2013-2014. Because the altercation took place within the precincts of the House of Assembly, House Speaker, the Honorable Dr. Kendall Major, says he is satisfied that the matter has been dealt with. I thank the two members for your, um, for your apologies to our country and our people and this house. The business of the House of Assembly continued before suspending at one o'clock for the lunch break. I'm Carla Palmer for ZNS Network News.